How's it going? This is Steven Christian. I'm the developer of the Island Fever Augmented Reality app. In this video, I'll show you how I approach making augmented reality apps with the Unity Game Engine without having any prior app development knowledge. I literally had an idea, a computer, and the drive to create something. And all I needed was a little bit of direction and time to explore and create. At the end of this video, you will understand how to use the Unity Game Engine to make an augmented reality app for mobile devices. So how do you use Unity to build a mobile app for augmented reality? Well, it's simple. First, you download Unity. Then you install it. Once you do that, you open up the Unity Hub and you download the editor version that you want. Choose all the settings that you like for it and choose the right editor for you. Then you create a new project. And after you choose the right editor version, you name it and then you open it. Be sure to make sure that you choose 3D project because that's the base project to use. Then you go onto your settings and you wanna change the build target to whatever device you wanna go for. You can always change that later. And then you set up all your project settings with your name, your icon, and all the different settings that allows you to play well on your device. And before you know it, you hit build and you have an app. Voila. So with all the options out there, you probably are asking, hmm, why develop apps with Unity? Why would I use the Unity game engine? It's for games and I'm not trying to make games, right? Well, that's what I thought. But Unity is such a robust piece of software that it's really multifaceted. Literally, you could take other apps and other softwares that you're used to, like I'm used to a full Adobe workflow in 2D, and you could take the Photoshop files, you could take the After Effects files, you could take the Animate, if you're working in Blender or ZBrush or Cinema 4D or Maya, or even Clip Studio Paint, you can literally export all those files out, import those into the Unity game engine, and then you could create any sort of 2D or 3D animations, any sort of immersive experiences. If you wanna make something interactive like a game, if you wanna prototype out some simulations, even if you want to explore designing and modeling for UX and UI, even code, and you can create learning modules. More importantly, Unity is perfect for experimentation. And with this, this project has been a big experiment for me, and it allowed me to explore all the different things that I'm interested in, from coding to animation to designing. And then, it goes by this philosophy of building once and deploying everywhere. And so once you have that experience that you take from other softwares, you kit bash in Unity, and then you can export it with the click of a button as an animated video, to an Android phone, to an iPhone, to a website, to an Xbox or PS5 or any other game console. Or even if you wanna go with the Oculus or any other VR headsets, you could do that. It's all about building experiences first and worrying about the development later. And Unity is a perfect piece of software to do that. You quite literally can keep the workflow that you have instead of going to Premiere or trying to export in Blender or any of those things, you could put it all into Unity and you could get all the exports done from one piece of software. No compromises and no worries. So before we move further, Let's just talk about how the Unity Hub works. And so normally with the app, you're going to open it up and then you're going to start a new project. And then from that, you're going to select a version and then you create your project. But with the Unity Hub and Unity, it works a little different. You don't open up Unity. You actually open up the Unity Hub. And before you do that, you want to make sure you download a Unity version. And after you download that Unity version, you're going to start a new project. And that project is going to use whatever Unity version that you used. And the best part about that is if you update your Unity version of the editor, then it's not going to change the project at all. And so you could update the editor 
and then keep the same project file exactly how it is and nothing will change. I know I've run into problems with that when I have to update Photoshop or I have to update these various softwares like Blender where you're essentially creating a new program and then you got to learn all this new stuff. Unity makes it easy to where they update the editor and you, the project files are treated differently but in parallel. Now time to apply what we learned with an activity. We're going to create a Unity project for an augmented reality experience. The key steps are to download and install the Unity game engine, open Unity Hub and download the editor, create a new 3D project, select a build target, and set up the project settings for the project. So let's give it a try and post a reply in the comments to let me know how it goes. If you're not in a hurry, continue with me as I work on the project in real time. Now here we go. So I'm here on unity.com. And if you don't know where to go, first thing is get started. Once you do that, head over to individual and then select personal. And then we'll download the Unity version. With that, I'll download it. Once it's downloaded, then I can go through and open up the Unity Hub. So we're in the Unity Hub right now. And with Unity Hub, you have projects, you have the Learn tab, communities, and installs. Before we get started any further, you want to make sure to add a install to it. And so you can go with the recommended release or you can go with the official releases. Pre-releases, you probably want to hold off on those for now. But best case scenario, go ahead, get that recommended release. And then when you do that, make sure to download Visual Studio, Android build support, and iOS build support for mobile devices. Those are definitely key. You click next. You select, I agree, you click next. You select, I agree again, you click done, and then it'll download the editor. Since I already have tons of them downloaded, I'm gonna skip that part. We'll move on to our project. And so when you start this, if you have multiple editors already, you can click the drop down menu to open one, or you can click new. And so for me, I wanna make sure to open it in 2020 and you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of different templates here. For AR, if you're more experienced, you could download this one or VR or anything like that, or you could change it later on. And we could talk about render pipelines later, but best case scenario, let's just start with our lovely 3D. And so we'll just name it uh, a project. I'll just name it Deep Dives. And we'll click Create. And so we're in Unity. And if you're looking at this and you've never seen 3D software before, yes, I know it can be jarring, but it's not that bad. Once you get used to it and definitely have you, as you follow along with the series, you'll definitely get a, a good dose of how things work with it. And so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to file and build settings and build settings is where all the build settings that we need goes. Remember, I said you could export to Xbox, PS4, PS5, Android, iOS, even to the web. And you do that by the click of a button, and that button is this. And so it currently has the icon on standalone Mac, PC, and Linux. We'll just want to move it over to a mobile device right now. And since I love developing for Android devices, let's go ahead and click Switch Platform. Now that we have our build platform set, now we're going to move on to our player settings and we just click that button right there and it opens up a menu like this and our player settings is where we put all the information for the app from the app icon to the name and even the package name for if you have a company. Let's input all the information right now. So we know that this is called Island Fever. Deep dives. And we'll say the name is Illtopia Studios for the studio that I have. And with this one, we'll say 1.0 just for the version. So if you have any icons that you want to add, this is just the icon that you would see on your phone. Then you could add your icon here. And I'll just put a little default icon. We can change that later. 
And then when you notice over here, we'll have our standalone for Mac and Linux settings. These are our iOS settings and our Android settings. Typically, these settings will be available for whatever devices you have build settings for. And so if you had Xbox and PS5, you could have those set. Those settings will appear here as well. But we don't have those. And so the first thing that we want to do is for mobile devices, we want to make sure it's at gamma. And then we want to make sure that Vulkan is actually disabled. Let's see, we want to just get rid of that. And that's just because some things just don't work well with mobile devices and AR with that. And then for Android API, you probably want to have it at 11 and then IL2CPP. And I tend to have it at 4X right there. You could have it at 6 arm. And that tends to be all the stuff that we need for Android. If you want iOS, this tends to be the good settings right here. And so you could have iPad or iPhone only. And then set the standard to net four. Typically, if you have camera settings, you have to input the camera settings. So we'll say camera will be used for playing AR experiences. And then if you need to use microphone and location data, you, you need to input that as well. Otherwise, you should be good. If you wanted to have a splash screen, you could do that as well. And so say you have a logo or say you have any sort of timeline or anything like that, uh, you can do that. And then if you play it, it'll show right here. Made with Unity, just like that with the icon. So if you have any icons, you can add those here as well. We'll go to the quality settings and those quality settings are really crucial for mobile devices. And so notice how we have ultra here and there's a green check for the computer, but not for iOS and Android. That means that having ultra settings probably isn't the best for these devices. So let's go ahead and go to the actual green and this green is for Android and iOS, which is medium. So if you just set that to that, you will have better performance for these. And after you have all that stuff, you pretty much have an app that you can actually deploy to. We don't have the content yet though. So that's a different story and we'll dive deeper into that. But this is the basics of using Unity to build an app for mobile devices. And we'll be able to use this base app and project to build off of to develop our app with our Island Fever Deep Dives. I appreciate all my Patreon supporters that have made this project possible and are continuing to support me. And again, if you want to get the project files for this project, go ahead and join my Patreon. And if you haven't already, go ahead and join the Discord there's a lot of cool stuff a lot of cool conversations and that is the best place to reach out to me and help me build this wonderful creative and art tech community if you like this and other videos definitely join my patreon to download the project files and get behind the scenes sneak peeks of new projects and be a part of the sponsor section at the end of my videos download the island fever augmented reality app at islandfever.com or search for it on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Check out my courses on Skillshare, Gumroad, and Udemy. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube and follow me on social media at Stuck on an Island 
or going to stuckoninisland.com. All the links in the description below.